Hey guys, it's RJ. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, as we quickly approach the end of quarter one of 2021, you guys all know what that means. That's right, it's time to go over Chase's new quarterly rotating categories for both the Freedom and the Flex card as we move into Q2 of 2021. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and let me get to work. So if you're new here, really quick, the OG Freedom card, which has of course been retired by Chase, and both the Freedom Flex card are Chase's quarterly rotating category cards where you can spend, where you're going to get 5x back up to $1,500 in combined purchases for the quarter across the categories that Chase selects for that quarter. And as always, Dr. Credit was first on the scene to break this news, so it looks like for Q2 of 2021, Chase is giving us gas stations and home improvement stores for our 5X categories. And of course, stay tuned to the end of this because I am going to share a pro tip that I've personally used a few times for this gas station category to help stack rewards programs together. So a little bit of housekeeping notes first of all. If you have not maxed out your Freedom or your Flex Cards quarterly category spend for Q1 of 2021, which was wholesale clubs, internet cable services, and streaming services, you still have until the end of March to do so. And if you're just now realizing you haven't activated your 5X categories for Q1, I believe today, March 14th, is the last day to do that and be able to take advantage for all your Q1 spend. Next up on the list, as I did mention, this is for both the OG Freedom Card and the Freedom Flex Card. So they do have the same rotating quarterly categories and that looks like a theme Chase is going to stick with uh, continuing on into the future. But it is going to be $1,500 per card. So for example, I have both cards. So the OG Freedom over here, you can spend $1,500 in combined purchases in those categories. And then on the Flex Card, if you have that as well, which I do, you can also spend another $1,500 in combined purchases in the same category. Now on that same note, that does mean you need to activate and opt in to the 5X categories on both cards. Now you'll be able to activate your 5X categories starting tomorrow, March 15th. And usually you can do this by logging into your Chase account and going to the ultimate rewards point section underneath each card. Alternatively, Chase will also send out emails to all their card members, letting them know what the 5X categories a few days from now. And at the bottom of that email, it should have a section where you can opt in. But again, it is going to be one email per card. So if you have both cards, just make sure you look for both emails or just be proactive starting the 15th. Go ahead and activate it in Chase's portal. So about the categories themselves, overall, I think gas stations and home improvement stores are a huge win and should be really easy to hit for most people. If you think about home improvement stores, now, yes, I know not everyone owns a house. Maybe you've got an apartment, condo, what have you. But going into spring, it's the perfect time to hit your home improvement stores again if you're a big working in the yard person fertilizer grass seed sod flowers if you're into gardening lawn accessories home improvements all that stuff's going to count from the big names of home depot and lowe's and of course a lot of other stores generally chase does put out a list of stores that are likely to count um, they don't have that out right now but it will be on the faq section so if i find that link i will post it down below in the description alternatively home improvement stores do sell gift cards and of course, you guys know we're a big fan of gift cards on this channel. Now, I did promise a pro tip when it came to gas stations. So what I've done historically with gas stations is I've gone to Speedway. Now, this might work at other gas stations, but I've had success at Speedway. You go in and they generally have the biggest selection of gift cards because I generally don't spend $1,500 in gas in a quarter, thankfully. So what you want to do is go in, check out their gift card section. They have the staples, Best Buy, Amazon, Apple, um, some restaurants things like that or of course you could just buy more gas gift cards but anyways the pro tip comes into play is what you want to do is sign up for a speedy rewards membership now the membership is absolutely free and if you've ever gone to the counter at a speedway to buy anything trust me the cashier has probably asked you a thousand times if you want the membership and this time i recommend taking the membership because it's again it's free they don't even ask you for any personal information. For me, all the cashier did was pick up one of their plastic keychain cards, scan it, hand it to me, and that was my membership. No personal information required. So what you want to do, like most rewards point systems, when you make your purchase at Speedway, you just want to present your membership card to that cashier, make sure they scan it. Now you can even add it to your phone. Of course, there is an app, and I also add mine to my Apple wallet so I can just pull up the card, have them scan it, and then you're going to get speedy reward points for 
for whatever you're purchasing. Now, I will be fully honest with you guys. I don't really know what speedy reward points are worth conversion-wise. I'm sorry. However, I do know, and I have had success, racking up a lot of Speedway reward points, buying all my gift cards from Speedway whenever the category is gas, and then over time, you end up with enough speedy reward points to either redeem for discounts on your gas, food at the gas station if you're eating at a gas station, I guess, or more importantly, other gift cards. So if you're not sick of gift cards, this is another easy way to stack on your 5X back that you're earning with Chase on top of some Speedway points that are going to allow you to redeem for, again, whatever you want. I tend to redeem for gift cards. And along those same lines, Home Depot and Lowe's or your home improvement stores might also have reward programs that you want to look to sign up for to be able to stack points, again, that 5X from Chase and stack on whatever the that retailer's points are worth. And you're just going to be able to help maximize your earning potential on money that you already had to spend. So again, that's just my story and where I've seen it work at Speedway before, but I've done the same thing at grocery stores when the category is grocery stores and what have you. So definitely comment down below if you guys have a good point stacking strategy that you've used in the past that you would like to share with the community. So anyways, guys, just a quick one for you today. If you liked it, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, then consider subscribing to the channel. Again, posting content just like this about four to five times per week. My question for you guys is let me know know down below what you think of Chase's Q2 categories. Love them, hate them, what would you have rather seen? And of course, let us know if you found out a good way to stack reward points to maximize your points earnings. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.